hi guys i thought i would start the vlog off it is friday mid like late morning and i have just been getting some work done and just working through the to-do list i swear phoebe was chill behind me but as soon as the camera went on she started acting up hmm you want attention you want attention i mean she couldn't get any cuter anyways um all right, you guys, I'm going to start a few days in my life vlog. I will make sure that you guys get a good amount of stuff in this vlog for sure in terms of like meal ideas because I know you guys love that. Speaking of meals, I'm having oatmeal. There's a little dollop of peanut butter right there, blueberries, and a half a cup of oats. And then I do one half scoop of peanut butter cookie one up nutrition protein powder which is my absolute favorite it's only 55 calories for the half scoop and it adds 12 grams of protein so i'm having that and um then i'm probably going to do a little treadmill i don't know i'm not sure exactly what i'll show you guys but um yeah we're just going to go ahead and start off this vlog and thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see kind of like where these days lead <music> All right, I threw on some sweats because I'm gonna go hit up the treadmill. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something because I think it was in the last vlog that I showed you the Skims bodysuit that I loved. And I went on and on about how the real thing, blah, 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 you, nothing beats it. Well, I loved that style so much that I went to the Skims website. I wanted to get the same style in, let me put this down and sit down for a sec. I wanted to get the same style in spaghetti strap. And then I just thought, God, it's $70. Like it's so expensive. Am I, am I sure that Amazon doesn't compare? So I didn't do it. I, I got the black one and I'm telling you, I absolutely love it. No regrets buying it, but I wanted to get brown and I knew it's a color I don't wear as much. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I will give Amazon another try and I found this one. It's the square neckline with the spaghetti strap. And it feels exactly the same. Like if, if somebody told me it was skims, I would, I would believe it. It's crazy. Even the stitching, even the stitching, even the kind of the, the name kind of looks like it's skims, like the skims font. I don't know. Anyways. So I had to share. I had to kind of like eat crow. Amazon does compare. I do feel sometimes that it is just like the joy of having the brand, getting the package from the brand. Um, but I like this one. I think I'm going to wear it today with just some jeans and like my, my brown, um, my brown dunks going to the, uh, studio today. We're filming for Patreon and doing a YouTube live. So we'll be out. It's date night. It's Friday night. So I was going to wear this. So I'll show you guys my outfit later. I'll show you guys how it looks on. And then you be the judge because you saw me wear this one in the last week. Which again, I love. And would I get more colors in this? Yes, I would. But that one is really, really nice. I haven't tried it on yet though. So I guess we'll see. The proof is in the try on, right? Anyways, so... I will link that down below and yeah. Anyways, I am now going to put on my sneakers. So if I stay in my pajamas too long on a Friday, cause Friday is the day that I don't leave the house till the afternoon. I don't work. I don't do weights. If I stay in my pajamas too long, I will stay in my pajamas till it's time to get ready and go to the studio. And it's just bad. Instead, I put my sweats on. I'm going to go walk, get some more work done. Um, just kind of like check away at my to-do list and then I might clean the fridge because I talked about it last week never happened so that would be good oh and I also oh my gosh Phoebe's eating a fly I ate the fly anyways um, oop, one more one more to show you guys these I'll insert a picture of me wearing them up here these are my new shoes. Also, 
if you haven't watched last week's vlog, this is just like a continuation because remember how I told you I left space for one more pair of shoes? These are them and I love them. And I think this kind of completes the colorways. I have black, I have gray, I have cream, I have pink, I have white. So I'm done. Remember I told you guys I'm done. I'm putting myself on a little bit of a, um, I'm putting myself in like no more buying shoes sneakers i absolutely don't need any sneakers if anything coming up i might need like a new pair of spring sandals or a spring shoe of some sort but no workout shoes i have plenty of sneakers to last me for a few months i need to stop <laughs> but i really do love these though this were a good purchase and i think they were like 100 bucks you know so not bad anyways i will link these as well I will say they run a tad big. I'm usually between a seven and a half and an eight, and I'm so glad I got these in a seven and a half because an eight would have been too big. This seven and a half fits like an eight. So something to keep in mind. Okay, now we're going to do the fridge first or the treadmill first. I'll do the treadmill first. <laughs> It passes the test. It fits exactly the same. And it's half the price. I'm gonna throw on these. Ooh, ooh. Here we are. Should I fold the jeans or not fold? I'm gonna fold. All right, got the jewels on. This is a Etika necklace. And then these are just the ones I wear all the time. But these are my little chunky hoops from Ana Luisa. I think I showed them in my last vlog and I love them and they do not tarnish. Their jewelry is such good quality and this video is not sponsored, but I wear them all the time. So this is like a staple. And then I have the silver one here on this side. It's like their stacking rings are so pretty. And I keep it on all the time. I never take those off. So update, I did not have time for the fridge. So once again, that's the, the one continuing item on my to-do list. Um, I should have time sun by Sunday. We shall hope. Um, Mike's running late and drives me crazy when he pushes everything too late. It's already 2.20 and I wanted to leave the house at 2.30, but we'll see how that goes. But still want to go to Whole Foods, still want to get some coffee. So stay tuned. <laughs> shop a long time ago but I love it and that's it let's go we are back in the car it is time for vlog car talk don't you guys miss Mike what's up what's up what's up he's sporting his like fancy hat today Kango. <laughs> Kango. A Kango, sorry. A Kango. Yeah. A Kango? Like kangaroo? Kango. Kango? K A N G O L. Oh, Kango. Actually, meant from Great Britain, where they make these from. Oh, like that show that you were watching? Yeah, that's where it comes what from. What is it called again, the show? Pee Wee Blinder? Peaky Blinders? Peaky Blinders. Like a British gang. Crazy. It's pretty cool. It's from the olden days, like the He's 18th. watching it, like on Netflix or something. Like the 1800s, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, we are headed to Whole Foods because we want to get those brown butter chocolate chip cookies again. Are you lying? No, we're not. We're going to have coffee first and then Whole Foods. Semantics. Yes, we're going to get coffee first. Yeah. We're going to get coffee first. I have a little headache because I haven't had caffeine since 5 a.m. this morning. But I saved my caffeine intake for afternoon coffee on Fridays because we stay up later. We record a lot. Late so, night. 
date night, dinner. It's a late night for us, for us, in, in our terms. Um, and today's a double recording day because we're not only doing our Patreon show, which we do every Friday, we record it every Friday. We have the 5 p.m. live podcast episode, Candidly with Coffee podcast live at 5 p.m. on YouTube. So that tends to go like an hour and a half sometimes. We try to keep it to an hour. Um, yeah, so we have a, like two and a half hours of recording ahead of us. Got to have the energy, got to bring the good vibes the good Patreon vibes where we share lots of juicy things over there on Patreon, you guys. Uh-oh, Mike's about to get his road rage. Uh, this guy's going 50 miles an hour on a grove. Get him. Right, this is fucking... Yeah, what's up with people loading up their trucks with all kinds of shit? If I leave the, if I leave the camera up long enough in a car ride, you guys are going to get Frisco Mike. i got patience for these Slow ass drivers. Oh. Uh, no places to be. Yeah, coffee is calling our name. Yep. A little bit of coffee. A little bit of Whole Foods. I just wish I had it. It's, honestly, I always had my, my, my dream. Would it be like Europe? Like, put a special license, like the, the best drivers. The Autobahn? Yeah, like, just give a lane for fast lane, all you slow ass to stay out of the way. Move, go over there and just hang out with each other. Let the faster drivers go. <laughs> so I go to the left lane. Let's go. <laughs> Some people are slow though They don't get it They stick around No way. or they stay in the fast lane Even though they want to go slow Like this car right in front of us right now They are going mighty slow For the fast lane And there's plenty of room in other lanes Mike always passes them up And then you always look at them You always look at them are you, If you don't want to go faster Just get one lane over Let everybody pass you by but they want to play stupid and stay in the fast lane. I do it. I don't want to go quick. I move over one. Yeah, lane. me too. I just get out of the way. I don't want to be go. in anyone's way. Yeah, people trying to go, but some of us are in a hurry faster than others. I'm in a hurry. I'm feeding for some coffee. All right, you guys. You got extra energy back then. Yeah, me too. I worked out harder. I'll see you at the coffee shop. At the pasta. You know. Hello to the vlog. 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 Hello to be comfortable with the person you get with. You can't be insecure, you know? Oh, 100%. It is dark, but... All right, you guys. Recording is done. We are off to dinner, and we are going to go to Luna. There's probably going to be a wait, but maybe we'll get seats at the bar. We'll have to look. Yeah. Look at this. Are you happy? Yes. Good morning. Are we going to go live during Springfield? Saturday morning. Slept in till like 6.45 and it feels so good. I am having an Anna bar. This is the white chocolate cinnamon swirl crunch. This is what it looks like. I never show you the actual bar. Blurry? Ooh. I exposed myself in an energy drink. Um, yeah, I'm just watching a little TV, catching up on YouTube comments. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog too, too much today. It's the same old, same old. But I will be doing kind of like a Sunday reset tomorrow. So, I don't know. We'll kind of just see what we get. Um, I'm not a lot for words right now. I wanted to show you guys food in this vlog.
So we'll see. All right, you guys, I am off to Orange Theory. I feel a little overwhelmed. I need a down day. When I go, 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 go too much, like, I, I really crave a down day, like, where I don't have to leave the house at all. I think it's going to be tomorrow, which is where I'll probably do the bulk of my vlogging. I'm in, I'm craving, like, a reset. I want to do my laundry. I want to organize my house a little bit. I want to clean the fridge out. And I just want to, like, start Monday really fresh. I have a really busy week next week. I have a whole new group of challenge members starting. I'm so busy. Like I was so busy yesterday and like today is kind of like I'm swamped to be honest because I I have a new challenge group starting and so there's lots of work with that and I'm just a little overwhelmed, a little stressed, a little tired. <laughs> Um, that's why I slept in, but I, I just allowed it. I'm like, I just need some sleep just because I'm mentally tired more so than physically. But, um, I will probably pick up the camera again for our cheat meal because we're going to a new pizza spot here in San Jose. So I'll show you guys that and then we'll pick up, we'll pick up again tomorrow. So it's What is up guys? Well, I didn't really film much yesterday. I actually don't even know what the last clip I filmed, but welcome back to the vlog. It's Sunday and it's just been stressful because yesterday I um, had some issues where I, I couldn't get into my studio and so we kind of recorded the episode in a rush for my podcast yesterday and because of that, I accidentally hit the manual focus on one of my cameras. So I had to kind of like recut the whole episode. So it's nine o'clock in the morning. I have been editing all morning. So it's taking me a lot longer to edit. Um, but it is a Sunday and today I'm going to finally get my butt into the kitchen and clean out the fridge. So I'm going to show you guys that as soon as I kind of finish up some edits. And then I also... <sighs> got a new ring light. I realized that this is the Loom Cube ring light. It's rechargeable. I'm going to unbox it. I realized that the ring light I had, it would, if you guys have watched my vlogs, it literally has like fallen in the middle of me recording. It's just, it's so beat up. It doesn't like hold the phone anymore. It's just a disaster. So I'm like, you know what? It's time. It's time because I want to film more kitchen videos and my lighting is so bad in the kitchen that I have to have a ring light in there or it's very yellow. Just like this light. It's very yellow. Um, but in the kitchen, it's just small. So oh, this one is quite pricey, but an investment because the other one I've literally had for a decade. I think I've had it like 10 years. So it's not something that you have to buy frequently. So when you buy better quality, it's going to last you even longer, hopefully. And I definitely am going to save the case on this because I could see myself potentially traveling with this sometimes. Oh, wow. It's so not clunky. Okay, this is really good. So I'm going to charge it. The other one is like clunky. This one is so nice. Oh, look at that. Huge difference from my other one. Okay, I'm really happy. remote where I can adjust the brightness. It's rechargeable so that I can move this into the kitchen. I do not have to bring the cord. I'm going to link this down below for anyone who is interested in any kind of video content creation or I don't know, makeup. This is great going to be for, great for makeup anything. This is really 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 nice. I'm glad that I didn't just replace the other one that I went with something that was 
better quality because you can really tell the difference. This also holds, took so long to edit because of that autofocus problem. And I got a delivery on a Sunday. Go figure. My Lashify. So I literally, the last couple times I've done my lashes, I've just thrown on whatever I have and they look crazy. So I went back to the Geminis because I really like them. I did G16, G14, and then I already have G12, so I didn't get G12s, but I got these to try, and it is basically a full lash map for both eyes in the eye line. So it's supposed to like make it look like you have eyeliner on. So, interesting. You mad about it? Of course I was mad. Wow, this is not. This, these are very macro friendly. So I mean, just times that by four hundred eighty-eight. Yeah, I can have that. Yeah, it's nice and cool. It's nothing. It's probably honest. It's probably ten calories. The hell of fucking. Mmm. So long, Kyle. Don't make another one. There's. We have another one out of the fridge. Juicy. Place. These are the old fruits. So. Okay, so I want to update the vlog because. I'm going to insert some clips mm -hmm. right here of yesterday's slice of homage pizza in downtown San Jose. Best pizza I think I've ever had in my life. Best. I had something called the Redhead. It was thick crust. Delicious. And then we had calzone later in the day, but it was really, really good. But you skipped a part what made it delicious. And the hot honey. It. Yeah, even your son wasn't reluctant to do it. Yeah, you. It, it's Dude. like a it's like a hot honey that you sprinkle over the pizza, and it just takes it to another dimension. No one's it ever was, done that. It That's was first of ever. So incredible. So we had that, and then because the pizza was so good, and we were full, and we had a long day at the studio, we didn't end up doing our treat. The brown butter chocolate chip cookies with the ice cream. So that's going to be today. Uh, rather than force it, you know, we thought, well, we'll just have that tomorrow. There's plenty of protein in it. It's very easy to fit it into a regular day. So we're going to do that later today, which we're excited about. Um, Mike's just eating a little bit of orange. He's going to go go for a walk. I'm going to clean the fridge out while he's doing that. When he gets back, we're going to go to Trader Joe's. So we do a little Trader Joe's action. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Mmm. So good. We probably need more fruit. Yeah. Um, we're going to go to Trader Joe's. And then I'm making salmon bowls tonight. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to have our dessert. So I'll show you guys. Instead of just showing you the after a quick clip, I'll show you specifically how I make the dessert, which is very simple. Yeah. So I'm going to just do a little... Fridge cleanup. I just want to clean through. It just needs a wipe down and just a full shebang. So that's what we're going to do while Mike's doing his walk. All right, I'm going to make my raspberry sauce. And lately I have not been using fresh raspberries. I have been using the organic raspberries from Trader Joe's and it's much, much better. And then I don't have to worry about them going bad. They're frozen. And I do 70 grams, and 70 grams is only 35 calories, and it's tons. I'm, I'm just going to put these two packets of Splenda, and you can use Stevia or whatever sweetener you want. And then a teaspoon of chia seeds. And then I just put a little bit of water. I've made this many, many times on my vlogs. So then I just put a little bit of water, and then I just put it over the stove. I've made this so many times, but I don't think I ever really give you like the full details. And I recommend this sauce for, honestly, you can put it on ice cream, you can put it on oatmeal, you can put it on, like I do it, your yogurt. I'm gonna have my yogurt bowl. I'm just eating this before I get into the cleaning mode and then it won't feel so bad getting a few groceries because right now I'm hating going to the grocery store 
because I don't like putting groceries into a fridge that is dirty. But I just have been so busy. Granola, this is the Salty Sweet Granola, Purely Elizabeth. This is the one I got from Costco. A huge bag, but we are yeah, going through it. I do 20 grams. When the raspberries are in here and then it gets hot, you just mash it down with like a wooden spoon like I'm doing. And then that is what, it'll smash the juice out and then the um, chia seeds help thicken it. Pour that on in. I've been hooked on this, you guys know. You've been watching my vlogs. I've been eating this you know, probably for a few months now. So there, and then I'm gonna do a tablespoon or 16 grams of um, nut butter. Maisie's, it's one of my favorites. There we go, that's my little yummy snack. And then I'm gonna eat this, and then we're gonna get to cleaning the fridge. much better much much better now we have lots of room to go fill up on fruit and get a few things at Trader Joe's <laughs> we are gonna go run our errands now that the fridge is clean but first we're gonna go get coffee so I am going to do the hazelnut zero sugar in our little to-go containers because we like to have our own creamer. The lids only? Oh, you want more of those too? Yeah, we need. We yeah, don't yeah. need lids. We need yeah. the BYOC. Bring your own crema. Perfect afternoon pick me up. I've got my iced coffee. I don't want coffee right here. Always oh, have coffee. What's the name of this place? Again? Hannah's Coffee Company. Oh, yeah. On the Alameda. On the Alameda. Excellent. Love it. My new favorite. We are at Target and they are super packed, but we've got some Quest chips, Dan and Lighten Fit yogurts. These are the 93% lean ground beef. This is going to be for nachos later this week. Burgers. They got the burger ones too. You guys, little mini 100 calorie danishes. Alright you guys, back from the store and I'm just going to make the salmon bowls. This is the cooked sticky rice from Costco. We split it in half. And then these are the salmon fillets. I'm just going to put them in the air fryer. And I'm going to honey and seasonings. Probably like a teaspoon of honey on each. And I put the honey first so the seasonings will stick. Garlic powder. Soy sauce. Sliced avocado will go right on top of the bowl. Splitting that rice so that it can save on macros, but I am going to beef up the volume just by adding some cauliflower rice. So I'm heating up the rice and then I'm going to put it into. All right, I am 
defrosting some of this frozen cauliflower, and I'm going to add rice to it so that it bulks up the rice for very little calories. So this will make it a bigger, a bigger bowl. Some fresh garlic. I get these fresh garlics from Trader Joe's, and then here I've got some sliced avocado will be topping the bowl. so much more volume. That is my hack when you want a lot. Now these are going to be big volume bowls. And then I also have greens. I'm going to top mine with a little bit of raw greens. Double the volume of the rice. I got baby arugula. Ooh, and I'm going to... Now, you guys... You're making this at home, you know, you can top it, you can make like a spicy mayo with sriracha and light mayo, which I was gonna do, but I had gotten this dressing, Japanese miso dressing from Costco. And instead I'm gonna do a drizzle of this on top. So, but if I didn't have that, I would do, I would just make a spicy mayo with some, maybe some rice vinegar, light mayo, and sriracha, and it's super low calorie. You can eat it with roasted seaweed. It's really good. So, we're gonna get some roasted seaweed. I wanna show you how good this salmon looks. I'm gonna bring it out of the air fryer because it's caramelized. Here is the salmon bowl with the arugula sesame seeds. I'm gonna eat mine with a little bit of seaweed. Cutting up some fresh strawberries. The salmon bowls, what did you think? If it was at a restaurant and it tasted a body, I'd order it. And what, and it was what? I said if you had it, like say you had it at a restaurant, uh -huh. and you're you like, tasted a bite them. Oh, you would order, order it. This. Yeah, yeah this is that good. It, it was, was good. Legit. Let's try the strawberry. You mastered it. Give me that. Mm-hmm. Got two chewing horn. I'm gonna toot my own horn right now, but oh, here's another one though. I have to show you guys this close up. A big part of the deliciousness is this dressing, and we get it at Costco. So, and look at that fridge looks nice and clean. Put all the groceries away. I'm gonna keep the vlog going just a little bit longer because I wanna show you guys the dessert. Oh. We saved room for our delicious, delicious dessert. And yeah, so I'll show you guys that in a little bit. And then we, Paulo's waiting for a strawberry. Paulo! Give me one little bite for him. I need a little cut pieces right there. Okay, yeah. here you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. All right, time for dessert. Now I have the the big Ninja Creamy, so I double. I double. I have a double recipe, so this is gonna serve both Mike and I. This is two pints, but for like the traditional Ninja Creamies, it is one scoop of vanilla ice cream iso protein powder. One one right here. It is only. 50, um, 110 calories and 25 grams of protein. So two, so one scoop of that, one cup of reduced fat, fair, I'm not reduced fat, sorry, fat-free fair life milk, and one tablespoon of sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. And then to give it an extra vanilla flavor, I do like a dollop of vanilla bean paste. Put that into my machine. Now, like I said, I have the big machine, so this is making two of those. So this is two of everything I just mentioned. Two spins. It's the perfect ice cream consistency. And I'll just split it. 
into two bowls. Warm chocolate chip cookies. And there you have it. Delicious Pazuki style high protein dessert. On that note, guys, I'll see you on the next vlog. <laughs>